<laughs> Darn allergies. Hi, I'm Bill Dickerson. Welcome to another exciting episode of LVI TV. Speaking of allergies, in a recent study titled Allergic Rhinitis as a Possible Risk Factor for a Malocclusion, a Case Controlled Study in Children, the researchers followed 275 Italian children ages 5 to 9. 125 had malocclusion and 150 did not. They concluded that allergic rhinitis, snotty runny nose, is a significant risk factor for the development of malocclusions in general and is associated with the development of posterior crossbite and increased overjet. Of course, this is something we've known at LVI for years. Let me explain why this happens. The snotty runny nose creates a mucus blanket in the sinus that prevents the cilia from doing its job, and that's beating the bacteria down the throat to be swallowed and excreted. Instead, the bacteria get stuck in the snot and cultures, and the child develops a low-grade infection in the sinus. Not to the point where they have sore throats or sore ears, but that could surely happen. The adenoids and the tonsils become hypertrophied because of the fighting of this infection. The enlarged adenoids prevent the child from breathing through their nose, and the enlarged tonsils prevent them from breathing with their mouth closed. So both cause the kid to become a mouth breather. The mouth breathing causes the buccinator muscles of the cheek to collapse the maxillary arch because the normal position of the tongue, which is between the teeth and the palate, are not there to resist that pressure. Go ahead and see what I mean. Close your mouth and breathe through your nose. Where's your tongue? If you're normal, it's in the palate between the teeth on the top arch. Now open your mouth and breathe through, through your mouth. Where's your tongue? Either between your lower arch or on top of the back teeth of your lower arch. So there's nothing between the top teeth to prevent the cheek muscles, the buccinators, from restricting the top arch. The top arch ends up smaller than the lower arch and that creates a crossbite or a class 3 bite. If this occurs in a child during the mixed dentition stage, that's when the baby teeth are lost and the adult teeth are coming in, then the tongue rests on the back teeth and prevents them from completely erupting. That creates what we call a bicuspid drop-off. The front teeth are allowed to erupt, but the bicuspids on back aren't. Now in order to get the back teeth together and chew, the muscles have to fire to pull the jaw back. This creates the overjet but it also creates hypertonic muscles, which leads to headache and neck pain and jaw pain. And these kids become adults with temporal mandibular disorder, or more accurately, craniomandibular disorder. And then what can happen is the orthodontist extracts the bicuspids because it doesn't seem like there's enough room for the teeth, when what they should be doing is expanding the arch to make room for the teeth. Here you can see a healthy arch, nice, wide, with a shallow palate. Here you can see a constricted arch, with a high palate. The palate is the roof of the mouth, but it's also the floor of the turbinates. And that creates a reduced space for the turbinates and leads to stuffy noses with the slightest inflammation from allergies. So the four by extraction case may look pretty and straight, but it's a small arch with a reverse curve of Wilson that can cause function problems. Again, it can lead to a lifetime of problems. Ask me how I know I'm a four by extraction case. So in a nutshell, here's what happens. Allergies cause the mucus blanket, which traps the bacteria. This causes enlarged tonsils and adenoids to fight the bacteria buildup. That prevents them from breathing through their nose, so it causes mouth breathing. This causes the abnormal tongue placement. This causes the buccinator muscles to collapse the arch, creating a constricted arch, which causes the malocclusion. This constricted arch also causes a high palate, which causes the turbinate space reduction. This causes a sleep breathing disorder, obstructive sleep apnea, which causes chronic lack of oxygen. This leads to an early death as an adult. Obviously pretty serious stuff. If you're a patient and you think this may apply to your children, find an LVI dentist near you. Go to www.lviglobal.com to search for one. If you're a dentist, you need to find out more about this. Please, for the sake of your patients, take Core One at LVI. I hope you found this episode enlightening. So many of your patients' futures depend on it. See you next time on LVI TV. And don't forget to like us and subscribe. It's free and free is good.